Hey guys, welcome back. This is MD and this is the roadmap to Platinum for Trials of Mana. And we're doing something new just to show you guys how to get the Platinum easily in this game. So this game will take you around 70 to 100 hours to Platinum. And as you know, we have six characters that we can choose from. So because of that, and because each character will have a different uh, boss, we need to finish the game at least three times. So we need to choose specific characters so we will have different bosses so we can have uh, in one playthrough we can have Angela or Duran as the main character and in another one we will have Hokai or Reis as the main character and finally we can have Kevin or Charlotte as the main character so this is why we need to finish them the game three times it does not matter which order that you choose or who you choose if you mean if you choose uh, Duran or Angela it doesn't matter because both of them will have uh, Mandoragan as the final boss so yeah, but we need to finish the game on uh, three times and whatever difficulty does not matter. So I'll tell you what to focus on and what not to focus on. So during my first playthrough, play uh, I chose Duran as my ca first main character and I had Kevin and Charlotte as my secondary. In this playthrough, focus on getting the little cactuses, the 50 little cactuses, find them. I already made a, a video guide on that and pick up any chest that you see. Do not worry about collecting money, do not worry about paying the dwarfs 5000 for the nitromite, do not worry about anything. So in this playthrough, focus on getting the 50 cactuses, pick up any chest, do not use the XP uh, cookies or the lucro essences, but use the item seeds whenever you find them. Go to an inn, go to a magic pot and use the item seeds because we need to level that up. We will not be able to level it up during our first playthrough, but it will carry on to our second playthrough. So don't worry about that. So during the second playthrough, I chose Hukai as my main character and I had Reese and Angela as my secondary. So during this playthrough, when you get to the Dwarf's Tunnel or wherever that is called, we will pay uh, 5,000 for the Nitro Might. And of course, you will have all of the chests available or visible on the map. So pick them up, whatever, if you have not uh, already got the trophy for the 200 chests. And yes, again, do not use any of the XP cookies and do not use of any of the lucro essences and keep using any of the item seeds that you'll find during the second playthrough you will I think for sure you will have the magic pot uh, to the max level and also you will get the trophy after beating the game for playing the story of the six characters and by now you will already beat uh, two of the final bosses so this is my third playthrough and my last and here I chose Kevin as my main character and Charlotte and Duran as my secondary by the way whatever level you had you they will carry on here again so you will start over leveled and this game will be a breeze and escape any monsters that you see don't waste time even during your second playthrough don't waste time the fights from the bosses are more than enough to give you enough xp and yeah open chests if you have not gotten the trophy for the 200 because chests are useless so yeah if you don't have the trophy keep opening them if you have the trophy don't waste your time and when you reach the end, when you reach Anis, change the game to hard mode and beat her. And to reach level 99, Anis's stockade is the perfect place to reach the level 99. Use the XP cookies when fighting the bosses. As you can see now, I'll do it here. And even the Lucra. I don't think you need the Lucra. You only need the XP. But yeah, especially when we're fighting the Benovidans near the end, use the XP bonus. And of course, the reason that we are focusing on the level 99 is uh, we will, when we finish the game once, we will get the 300 plus uh, level of mana, so we'll get 300% uh, more XP and so and so. So yeah, uh, depending on who was your uh, main character, there's gonna be a black rabbite boss, and it can be found depending on, on the your character. So if it was Angela Duran, it will be in the Crystal Desert, Kevin, it will be in the Jungle of Visions, Hokkaido race is gonna be in the cave of darkness and all of them are easy don't we don't need to finish the game on hard except for Anis so play the game on easy and you should get everything by now and yeah guys that said the game was very easy so whatever I said now just focus on these don't worry about any of the other trophies and yeah you get the platinum that's it guys thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for sharing thanks for the support subscribe to the channel and stay awesome guys